Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you the stunning Priyanka Chopra's bridal hair and makeup. Priyanka Chopra's makeup artist was Yumi Mori and she was kind enough to post all of the products that she used from Marc Jacobs on her Instagram page. I have that information with me so I will be showing you everything that she used on Priyanka and I will also give you a list of products that I will be using and I've listed everything in the description box below for your convenience as well. So without further ado, let's get this started. I'm going to start with prepping my skin and for that I'm using the Maybelline Master Prime in 100. I'm going to be using this on my face and neck. There was no visible contour on either Priyanka Chopra's face or on the list that Yumi provided so there was no contouring done but I have a rounder face so I have to contour my face instead of contouring on top of the foundation which will give you more of the harsh contour I will use the contour stick under the foundation to give me a more natural finish. So right on top of the primer I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild contour stick in Call Me Maple. I'll be using this in the circumference of my face in the hollows of my cheekbones in my jawline and to contour my nose and then I'm going to blend it out with a kabuki brush. I'm also going to prime my lips with some lip balm. On Priyanka, Yumi used the Shameless Youthful Foundation in Y470. Now I'm going to be using the Smashbox Liquid Halo in number 5. This foundation has a medium coverage, so when I apply it on top of the contour, you can still see the definition. If you use a full coverage foundation, it defeats the purpose. When you apply it on top of the contour, you won't be able to see it. I'm also using a beauty sponge as opposed to a brush because it gives you a sheer coverage and you can still see the dimension from the contour as opposed to when you use a brush. It gives you more coverage so again it defeats the purpose because it will be covering up your contour. Yumi used a concealer stick on Priyanka in medium and I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Honey from Maybelline to highlight the high planes of my face and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. When I was going through the list that Yumi provided, I observed that some of the products are not even released. They will be releasing next year. So Priyanka had an opportunity to try it out even before Marc Jacobs released it. To set Priyanka's face, Yumi used the Complice Powder in Scarlet number 54. I'm going to be using the Artistry Loose Powder first to set around my eyes where I use the concealer and that's when it creases first. And then I'm going to dip my lightly dampened beauty sponge in more of the Artistry Loose Powder and then slowly start pressing it against my skin to set my foundation. This is something that I learned from Jaclyn Hill from one of her bridal tutorials and it definitely gives you a flawless finish. I'm going to link that tutorial in the description box below. For blush, Yumi used the Air Blush Soft Glow Duo in Kink and Kisses and I'm going to be using the Milani Blush in Tea Rose which is a similar shade. I like to apply the blush higher up on my cheekbones, that way it looks more lifted as opposed to applying it on the apples of the cheeks. For highlighter, she used the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer in 79 and I'm going to be using the JCAT Baked Highlighter in Twilight. Both of these are similar shades with a gold undertone. And the way she used it on Priyanka is Priyanka's face pretty much looked matte but when she stepped out in the sun you could see that subtle glow. And for that I'm going to first apply it with a brush and then slowly dab it in with my finger. You can also use a damp beauty sponge or a dry sponge or even a powder puff to slowly dab it in just so it looks well settled into your skin and doesn't look much powdery. And now to make this makeup long lasting, I'm going to lock it using the L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Extender Setting Spray. Moving on to the brows and eye makeup. First, I'm going to use a spoolie to comb my brow hair to kind of mimic Priyanka Chopra's eyebrows. I'm going to get the base shape on before I use any product on top of it. 
Her brows are more naturally shaped and they are a lighter brown in color. So I'm going to be using the Ardell Medium Brown Pomade to decrease the intensity of my eyebrows. I'm using an angled brush to first fill in the sparse areas and then I'm going to try to reshape it to almost mimic Priyanka Chopra's eyebrows. And as you can see, my right brow is lighter than my left one. I'm going to repeat the same on my left brow and then I'm going to highlight my brow bone as well as inner corners using the JCAD Beauty Highlighter in Twilight. The only eyeshadow that was used on Priyanka is called On the Dance Floor. It's from the iconic eyeshadow palette. It's this pretty coral color. I have a similar shade from the Carity Rosé All Day and that shade is called Sunday. And I'm going to be dipping my Sigma E40 blending brush in this shade. And I'm going to gently apply it in the outer corner and start blending it out. Instead of a liquid liner, she opted for a gel eye pencil in dark brown for her top lash line. And I'm going to be using the On Edge Long Wear Eye Pencil from Wet n Wild in dark brown. Next, I'm curling my lashes and applying a coat of mascara. I'm going to be using the Big Shot Mascara from Maybelline. I don't think she used any false lashes on Priyanka, but I like falsies. So I'm going to go for something that looks very natural. These are the Ardell Natural in 110. I'm going to use my eye pencil one more time to hide the lash band. And then with a coat of mascara in my lower lashes, I'm going to finish up my eye makeup. For my lower lashes, I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I really like the wand on this for the lower lashes. For the lips, she opted for a bright berry color. She used the Limark Lip Cream in Boy Gorgeous. I have a similar shade from Wet n Wild. It's called Blind Date. When you use bullet lipsticks, make sure you clean up the borders by either using a lip pencil or you can also use a lip brush like me. And that finishes up the makeup part. Now let's move on to the hair. Priyanka opted for a classic French twist in the back and loose curls in front. For that, I'm going to first center divide my hair. I'm going to further divide my hair into front section and back section and I'm going to tie an elastic to the back section and keep it aside for now. I'm going to further divide this front section into equal halves. I'm going to start gathering the back half part of my hair I'm going to take it all the way up, give it one small twist and pin it up with a bobby pin. While pinning it up, I gave it a slight push to get that poof. With the hair in the back, I'm going to gather all the hair like as though I'm going to tie a ponytail but instead I'm going to start twisting the hair. And as I twist the hair, I'm going to start pulling my hair upwards and you can see the French twist is being formed from the left and with all the extra hair that I have on top I'm going to insert it inside of the knot and then I'm going to secure everything with bobby pins. This is an easier hairdo for shorter hair. If you have longer hair like me you'll have to insert all the extra hair inside of the knot. To curl the hair in front, I'm using my Revlon 1 inch curler. I've used the Chi heat protectant spray off camera, so make sure you always use a heat protectant spray before using any kind of heat on your hair. 
I'm going to further divide each side of my hair into two smaller sections. It's just easier to work in smaller sections. I'm going to insert each section into the curler and start curling away from the face. I'm going to hold the curler for about five seconds before I release my hair. And I'm going to repeat the same on all the four sections. I'm going to lightly loosen up the curls before I use a hairspray. I'm using the Garnier Volume Hairspray to hold the curls in place. I'm not sure if you guys observed but Priyanka had a tiara underneath her veil so I'm going to be using a tiara as well. And then I'm going to pin my veil right behind the tiara. And here's the final look you guys. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, share and subscribe. As always for your convenience, I'm listing all of the products in the description box below and also listed there are links to my social media accounts. If you're still not following me there, make sure you follow me there for all the inside scoop. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with another tutorial. Bye guys.